this part here dictates how many baddies you have to fight and how difficult it's going to be. Yeah. So that was hard. Um, but sometimes you may be able to do like a two for one as a solo. The one that I keep going to and seems to be... Easiest for me would be this one. Let's see. You may have a roulette, and you might be able to have people that can join you, but that's never been my luck. So let's try this. Let's see, waiting. Sure. Just have to close the window. Don't lose the cube, but hey, it's okay to that. So basically, I'll be teleported whenever it happens. Technically, all these can be solo. The skirmishes can be solo, but certain skirmishes will be quite difficult if you do it solo. But the game has evolved a lot since then, and they can adjust story relevant instances, but you can adjust that yes, it's, I'm in a fellowship, or no, I'm doing this solo. And of course you can cheat and say that, oh, I'm doing it solo, and you had to find a way to have your fellow person in your fellowship tag along with you, but yeah. <laughs> okay, so nobody has joined, so I'm not heartbroken by that. <laughs> so let's jump right in. Yay! Yes, this is the one. This is the one that I've enjoyed the most. And within each skirmish, there are many, like, mini, mini, um, quests or tasks. The um, Dowerhands have forged an alliance with the Blue Crag Goblins and have laid siege to Gondamon for nearly two weeks. The final assault will soon be launched. Yes, of course. Okay, and where is she? Where's my, where's my homegirl? There you are! Okay. I, I call her Sanji. <laughs> and I... Oh yeah, I forgot I have to talk to you first. Okay, where is he? Okay, there you are. Of course, this can be difficult when you're at a certain level. Because you have to make sure that this guy does not die. Because if you die, if this guy dies, if you die, or whatever else, then it's going to be difficult. It's going to be difficult for you to complete the quest. Yeah. I think you can get a man or a woman and. It took me a long while to discover that I can change that. So. Oh no! My mouse is not working! No, mouse! I need you for this! No! Oh no, no, no! Oh, cursed wretch! I'm gonna die. Why isn't it not working for me? No, don't die, mouse! Okay, um. No! Not him! Oh, forget this. Can it work? Yes, I get it. And you can make your soldiers do stuff. You can select an enemy first. Before they can do something, but sometimes they don't. Uh, it's difficult to talk and play at the same time. Oh! Okay. Okay, so normally for these guys, you have to take down their minions. I have no clue who they are. My 
my way. to train my resources and do all these other fancy things. But I'll be able to show you how you can do that. How you can give her pretty stuff to wear and stuff like that. And also the within the skirmishes, it does tap into your deed log as well. Because you can acquire, um, you can how do I this? fulfill certain deeds without you knowing what they are, and just kicks in automatically through the game. Like for instance, if you, need, if you take down so many goblins, like five hundred thousand of them, something like that. And if, when you reach your quota on your deed log, it just automatically kicks in, and you'll realize, hey, I got extra goodies in my bag. How the heck did I get that? Also, if your soldier does KO while in battle, you're not able to revive them until after the area is safe. them hobbling from like the medical bay and the medical tent. Okay. Imagine that if you, if you have a large party, then this particular place would be very awesome because you can have, have them stationed in all entrances, then they can actually use the top portion as well. Oops. Okay, so you can see that I'm using this. The West Cement Fire Oil, which is like the highest. And within the game, you need to unlock that skill or that passive ability of being able to use fire oil. And I'm also using this Breach Finder, Bow Chant. So when I know that I'm going to have to do some major damage, I always initiate the oils and the chanting. I didn't like how to go. So another skill that I have queued up, that, that's what you call it, is the stance strength, which helps me with my range damage and my critical rating. That I always have actually. Another thing to always keep in mind is my focus up. Because certain skills you can only use if you have a boatload of focus in your cubby. And there's two types of skills that allow, that allow you to refresh your focus. One you are able to use during combat, and the other one you're not able to use during combat.
for this ongoing passive one. I guess it's passive. Um, there are other ones, but I've noticed for me, in my particular fighting style, how I am just naturally, the this one works best. That other baddies, eight other baddies, uh, most likely like for the um, the enchanters or the the how do you call it the the medicine men, the magic people. Normally, that they help buff an attacking baddie. So if you notice that the baddie that's attacking you has that reddish foggy thing around them, that means that they have a buff of rage, and that that's not too, doing you any good. <laughs> You'll need to pick out the, the medicine man first. And there's other buffs that certain baddies do give to others to help them. <laughs> But even though I haven't told her to attack any particular person, she's already attuned to that. Now for instance, if I want her to attack someone else, like if there's a big one troll that's counting on me, but she's already has has eyes for someone else, then I can click on the baddie, ha tell her, hey, attack this guy instead, then she'll do it. That's what I'm most able to do. About pick out the magic dude first. Because if I can assess how I am fighting wise and I know that I won't die soon, then yeah, my focus goes towards the magic guy. Because they're the one, you know, having, you know, curing them or having other things. I think she is the most part. But I think you are able to change what type of skills that they have. Am I able to see that right here right now? Now this, here, that means that there's like a mini quest. So it's like a mini quest within the mini quest. So that means I can either acknowledge it, or actually go for it. If you ignore it, then not much damage is going to be done to the, the 